Hey guys, I hope this finds you doing really well. So our devotion today, we're going to be talking about kindness and a broken window. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Well, this Sunday, the fruit of the Spirit we're going to be talking about is kindness. And kindness is a funky word. We think about doing, we think about kindness and we think about doing things that are kind. And very much so, that is part of what that word means. But if you look at some of the, the definitions in, in Scripture, it's a very pregnant term. In fact, one of, the, one of the definitions that I like to think about it is deeply loving or being deeply loved. It sort of has the idea of the love that Christ showed us. The love that Christ showed when he died on the cross for us. That kind of love. The sacrificial kind of love. In fact, it's the kind of love that he, he, he demonstrated to his disciples at the Last Supper and the command that he gave them to love others like I have loved you. And so that's a kind of kindness. That's a kind of, it's doing those kind things, but the motivation is love. And when we do those things, when we, spot, or when we respond obediently to the Holy Spirit, when we're prompted to do those, it produces that kindness and gives us the ability to have that kind of love and that kind of kindness to show towards other people. It's something that we can't manifest on our own. Now, what does that have to do with a broken window? I'm about to tell you. So this morning, I had to go to Marion to pay a visit to somebody in the hospital. And I have, a, I have a little Toyota Corolla, and sometimes that back window on my side, the driver's side, sometimes it gets stuck and it doesn't go down all the way. And sometimes it doesn't want to go back up. And that happened this morning. And so usually what ends up happening is I'll grab a hold of the window and I will try to pull it up. But when I did this morning, the window shattered into my hands. Now my hands are okay. I made it sound like it's worse than what it is. My hands are completely fine. But I had glass everywhere in the back seat of my car. I drove home thinking about, okay, I've got to clean all this up. And I haven't swept my car in about a year. So it's got all the dust and debris and stuff from hunting and stuff from collected from my boots. And the, the, the floor is just, the floorboard is just a mess. So it was a great time to clean all that up. So I'm thinking, well, you know, if, if that's a bright light or a bright, bright side of this, my car gets the cleaning. So I get home. And I start vacuuming the car and I clean it all up and I get back inside. And I'm like, I mean, it feels really good to have a clean car. I actually appreciate my car. I actually like my car. I feel like I've nurtured. I feel like I've swept out all the junk and debris that's collected on the inside. And it reminded me, sometimes our relationships get that way. And we don't show the love that we're supposed to. We don't show the kindness that we're supposed to. Sometimes we take those things for granted. We take those relationships for granted. You know, I took my car for granted. And once I started nurturing and taking care of it and sweeping it out, it sounds kind of weird to nurture a car, right? But once I started doing that, I had a deeper appreciation. I, mean, I, I really like my car. And I had an appreciation for it. I nurtured it and I poured into it. And I took care of it. Sometimes in our relationships, we're not taking care of them the way that we need to. It may be a relationship with us and our Savior. Or it may be a relationship with a family member, a spouse, a child or maybe a mom or a dad, or maybe a friend. Whatever the case may be, there's a relationship that needs some nurturing. Maybe it needs some dust instead of debris cleaned out just from years of, of just junk just collecting. Kind of like the back of my car, the floorboard of my car. All the leaves and all the debris and all the junk got cleaned out. And when it gets cleaned out, it feels so good. And when it, get, get, when it gets cleaned out and I've poured into it and I've spent some time with it and invested in it, it feels really great. In fact, I got in the car and it felt really awesome to drive it. That's the way it works in our relationships. When you invest in a relationship, when you take the time to invest kindness, invest love, whether it's a relationship between us and God or somebody else, a horizontal relationship that we have on the, on the planet Earth, we end up feeling like we've nurtured that relationship. And we're not taking those relationships for granted. And we brush the dust off and we clean it up. And we start doing the things that love does. And we start showing kindness. Who are you? Here's a challenge for you. Who, have, who is in your life that you may need to nurture a relationship? You may need to brush some of the things aside and clean it up a little bit. Maybe it's a relationship with God. Maybe it's a relationship with a family member. Whatever the case is, start nurturing that relationship. And stop taking it for granted and pour into that relationship. And when you do, you'll find that you'll appreciate it. And more so, you'll find that you love it even more. And you'll find that God will give you what you need to show that kindness, to show that kind of love, 
to another person. I trust that you're going to do that. And I trust that you're going to rely on the Holy Spirit to do that this week. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of our BNC family.